Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is your weekend edition, June 14th, Friday, June 14th through Sunday, June 16th. I want to wish all the dads out there a very happy Father's Day. That is this Sunday, um, the 16th. Uh, I hope you guys have a great day, relaxing, um, full of love and joy and just happiness and fun. Yeah. Um, so this is going to be a weekend energy reading. Um, please, please keep in mind that energies are fluid. Time is an illusion. Yes. Yeah, so just because it's coming out and it's dated for the weekend of the 14th to the 16th, it does not mean it has to resonate at that time. At any moment when you find the reading and it resonates with you, that's when it's the right thing for you or that's, that's the right message for you at that time. Yeah. Um, just a little quick little chat. Um, I want to just give you guys an update at where, uh, where I am right now, and then we'll get into the reading. So if anyone would like to timestamp this at the end, for those of you that don't want to hear me ramble on for the next few minutes, that is a-okay. Just go ahead and do so. I would not be angry about it. So, um, as many of you know, I am taking a break from personal readings right now so that I have time to focus on my school project. Um, but I've been... I've been thinking about it and I'm actually reaching a major wrap up in my journey. Um, as many of you know, you know, as you've been following me on here, I, I have been on a bit of a twin flame thing, a twin flame journey, if you will. Um, I've learned a lot about it. I've grown a lot. Um, and, you know, I'm definitely not the same person I was two years ago when all of this really kicked off. Um, but it has been a pretty interesting, pretty strong and pretty, pretty much a whirlwind two years. It all started really kind of kicked off and well, that's not true. This started a while ago, like it, it started, you know, years ago, but it really kicked into high gear and into motion and into, you know, the energies that have led me to where I am right now in June of 2017 um this journey includes included you know me going through a situation where i was leaving a long-term relationship um uh that resulted in marriage but then ultimately ended in divorce um and you know it was it'll be august uh, august of this year will be two years that i have been actually like on my own out on my own you know left that place left that relationship um, was still kind of in the area because I was working right around the corner from where I lived, but uh, where I used to live. But um, that was August of 2017. Fast forward to January of 2018 is when I started my channel here. And then February of 2018 is when I started this course, the school that I'm in right now that I'm actually about to finish in July. And I was thinking about everything and I was like, wow. I thought, I really thought that all of those cycles and everything were done and all that, but it's not really. It's not really going to be done until I finish this school, finish this course, because getting into this school was a big part of everything that was going on at that time. Um, so here we are. <laughs> this is a big thing. This is a major milestone for me. But with all of that said, um, as I was really thinking about it, I was thinking and feeling that maybe it's time. I think I need to be taking a little bit deeper of a break, um, which may include um, taking a break from daily readings as well. I'm not really sure how I feel about that right now. Um, Spirit's kind of encouraging me to take this time just, you know, as I wrap up school and just getting getting everything back into alignment, coming into alignment with myself, finding, you know, figuring out what I want to do moving forward um, once I get out of school. Uh, Spirit's really encouraging me to do it. I don't know how I feel about it because I also, like, don't want to abandon the platform. It's not abandoning the platform, but at the same time, I just don't like the idea of taking, like, such an extended period away taking it's going to be like the, for the rest of the month so like <laughs> the next two weeks now granted that doesn't mean that i'm not going to do the readings for july i still have every intention of doing the july monthly readings which you know i'll probably start the last week of june but as far as the daily readings go i'm not sure yet um so i'm going to take the weekend i'm going to see relax feel it out 
see what I want to do. And by Sunday night, I hope to have the 16th. By Sunday the 16th, I hope to have an answer. I hope to have made a decision as far as how I want to approach what's going on. Yes? So, don't fret. I'm not going away forever. I'm just, I do need to take some time to decompress from everything that I'm transitioning out of. So stay tuned, you guys. But with all of that said, why don't we just go ahead and get into our weekend reading? Yes? <laughs> okay. Here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the weekend of June 14th through June 17th. 17th? No, 16th. I'm sorry. Let's try that again. June 14th through June 16th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, well, that was a Freudian slip. Um, this could resonate. This could extend through the 16th, or I'm sorry, through the 17th for some of us, for some of you. Um, are we adding Monday into this reading? I don't know. Yes, we could be, says Spirit. Who knows? Doesn't really matter. <laughs> Let's just see what we get here. Weekend edition, June 14th through the 16th. June 14th through the 16th, 2019. June 14th through the 16th. One last shuffle. Alrighty, guys. Let's see what we got. Yep, here we go. Best messages, please, Spirit. June 14th through the 16th. June 14th through the... Wow. Oh, those are in reverse. Okay. Okay. There we have it. Underneath the deck here, we have the Page of Wands. You know, it's funny, because this is kind of... Our <laughs> This is already kind of lining up with what I was just speaking about personally. Page of Wands is self-discovery, starting a new chapter, bringing, um, bringing an old cycle to close. Okay, you do have the Ten of Wands with shadow work here. Um, so there is definitely a sense of seeing things clearly, seeing eye to eye potentially with someone. Um, coming to terms with something, understanding something on a deeper level, which is allowing you to re-inspire yourself. So, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to put this in terms because I really don't know exactly what this means for the hundreds or thousands of people I could be channeling for right now, but I'm going to put it into context of like my life and because this is kind of resonating with me right now. Um, and what I explained in the beginning of the video, there is a period right now that's happening in which this is like almost like a last, a final clean up. What I'm seeing with the shadow work and 10 of wands is like going back in or going deep down and clearing up the, cleaning up the last of what is challenging you, what is burdening you, what is keeping you, holding you back, keeping you at bay, some sort of energy like that, okay? Um, and so for me, this is, um, you know, taking this time away to help wrap up the cycle, going through the last little bits of whatever it is I've been going through in terms of the last two years of my life and, um, cleaning it up, putting a little polish on it, putting a little shine on it, cleaning out the last bits of it, um, finding ways to find deeper understanding and to really tie up loose ends in my life so that as I close out this cycle, which really ends with me leaving this course 
in July. I mean, I literally, it was, it was, it kind of struck me that I didn't realize because I thought I had, I had moved out of that apartment with my ex that I had with my ex husband. I got the, the divorce. The divorce has been finalized for over a year now. Um, I even left that job that I was in, um, which was my like transitional job that um, I had started right before you know I started the whole divorce situation. Um, and I actually have history at that place that I was working with my ex-husband. Um, so I left the apartment. I filed, for, I got the divorce proceeding started, filed for divorce. Um, I eventually I left that job and I thought I was free until I realized, well, no, wait a second. This school was a part of that cycle, a part of me rebuilding myself. And, and now that's coming to an end. So th I hope that makes sense. So that's literally me going down and saying, holy moly, okay, cleaning up the last of the muck here, right? Now for others of you, this could sound, this could be different. This could be you are going through a period of shadow work um, or you're, you might be going through a little bit of a dark night of the soul also whoa okay there it is we also have a full moon in sagittarius on sunday the 16th you see those two big full moons there i mean well technically there's three because there's one in shadow work and two in the ten of wands now also keep in mind this is the moon child tarot so there's all kinds of moon symbol symbology everywhere but so funny though, because this page of wands here, the pages and the knights, in my opinion, represent the mutable signs, that being in fire, that being Sagittarius. This could be another fire sign also, Aries or, Sag or um, uh, Leo, but Sagittarius, in my opinion, from how I read, is right here. And we have two moons, two images. I'm sorry, three. Okay, so yeah, this could be a dark period. This could be a rough weekend. Just keep that in mind. Um, full moons tend to be pretty serious. I know I'm already being affected by the full moon because um, you know my my emotions are have been a little high. I want to say, um, and I've been super fatigued over the week, over this past week. But hey, shit happens, right? <laughs> Whatever. Okay, let's look at these other three cards here. We have, wow, the Five of Cups, Strength, and the Sun in reverse. My, my, my. Okay. Hmm. Give me a second here, guys. Five of Cups, Strength in reverse, and the Sun. What's, what are we saying here? All right. Well, the Five of Cups is speaking to I, I, is speaking to some sort of remorse, regret. Obviously, um, now the most confusing part about this right here is the Sun in reverse, because the Sun here is, you know, the best card in the deck. It's the most optimistic card in the deck. So. It, it's still a good thing that it's here. There is a there could be a lack of self belief here. There could be a lack of inner strength, um, courage. I'm hearing. Okay. So, what ha what's happening here? What I'm feeling is like someone might be you might be caught in a space of um, mourning of shame guilt drama I'm hearing um, wrapped up in the emotions of the situation not realizing that it's not as bad as you think but also I do kind of feel like this is influencing some this almost this kind of feels like a catalytic a catalytic situation a catalyst of some way to get you to release some sort of burden and to basically get back up on your feet with the Page of Wands. Okay, so now now the reading's kind of going in a different direction like than originally what I was picking up on in, you know, um, cleaning out the last dregs. But also, this is, 
it's still the same thing. So there's some there for some of you out there, there's some sort of situation that you're still kind of harping on. You're still mourning. Um, but with the five of cups in reverse here, it's like you're stuck in that energy. Things are not as bad as they seem with the sun. Um, you're needing to have a little more strength, self-belief. Self-belief is the energy that I'm getting from the strength card in reverse here. You're needing to have some sort of faith in yourself, some sort of understanding that, you know, it's not, I'm hearing, it's not all your fault. It's not all a catastrophe. It's really not all as bad as it seems. There are some burdens that you are needing to release from yourself or you re release yourself of. Um, but also this is showing you ways that, you know, this is giving, it's like, it's like how we see triggers, you know, triggers are actually a good thing in the sense that it's showing you where you are still needing some sort of fortification or some sort of strengthening and that kind of thing. Um, and that could absolutely be the process that you're going through now, understanding these situations, understanding the burden that you're still carrying that is keeping you from being strong and powerful and, and believing in yourself. With the sun here, this is just saying everything is okay. It's probably much better than it seems. But in order to get, because the sun is here anyway, so like I, I really feel like you could absolutely turn this right side up. So let's do that. Let's do that. Let's turn both of these right side up. Let's turn all of these right side up. And I'm only doing that because we need to. We need to get out of this. We need to get out of this funk. We need to get out of this shame, this guilt, this shade. Allow the sun to shine. Allow it to illuminate the spots within your shadow that are trying to teach you or show you where you need illumination and what you should be, what you could be releasing. Now, also, let's turn this back around and let's look at this from a different angle. There could be a sense of narcissism here over zealousness, pride, ego. And I heard shame and guilt again, but in this sense, someone has no sense of... Mm self-awareness ego so like okay um there t technically there is no such thing as right or wrong but this kind of feels like an energy in which someone is just like not willing to pull back and say you know okay well admit like not willing to admit when they have maybe made a misstep or something like that And thus you have an element of self-discovery here with the Page of Wands. And what I'm getting with this is this is this is a form of shadow work for you in the sense that I'm feeling or I'm seeing that you just keep, someone keeps piling on these situations, these circumstances onto themselves because they, they're not facing their shadow. Interesting. It's another way of, that's another angle to look at it from. Uh, and it's going to become a situation in which, you know, the straw that broke the camel's, camel's back. Uh, at this point, it's just like, you're just gonna have to keep, unless you start facing the situation, you're just gonna keep piling in, piling in, piling in, piling it on until something gives and everything comes crashing down. It could very well be a tower moment type situation, you know? I'm hearing that you can nip this in the bud if you just face the shadow aspects of the situation. Okay. Yeah. There is definitely a sense of narcissism, pride, ego here, arrogance, self-importance. True. Yes, that is here, but you're getting an opportunity to see deeper into it. 
and to heal, right? Okay. Ultimately, this is a good thing. And that's what the sun says, even though it's still in reverse here. Ultimately, it's a good thing because it's bringing illumination. Okay, so I'm going to go with our favorite deck here, Golden Universal Tarot, and we're going to get some clarity on the situation. Uh, four shuffles, okay. For this weekend's reading here... For the 14th through the 16th, three. Now, and four. I just want to say, someone recently left a comment on one of the morning coffee readings and was saying how, you know, our, uh, in reply to me saying that, you know, we, our society has kind of bred narcissism um, we, and someone, you know, basically co-signed and was like, yeah, I mean, everybody deals, everybody has, expresses some sort of narcissism at some point. Um, and that's absolutely true, you know? So I really, I, I really want to stress that this is not something that anyone is really immune to or exempt from. Um, you know, it comes straight from our ego and our egos, we're trained to lead with our egos when our egos are really just meant to be a bit of a defense mechanism. You know, they're not really supposed to be driving the ship the way that they do and the way that we're taught to have it done. Um, so I just, I just felt really, I really felt compelled to, to, to say that no one is really exempt, exempt from any sort of egotism, s slight narcissism, I mean, it could be even on a, like, you could look at it as a spectrum. Everything is a spectrum. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I just felt compelled to say that. So we're going to go with some, ooh, King of Swords. <laughs> okay. Like, let's, let's be, yeah, let's be real, guys. Everybody's got some sense of egotism, narcissism within them. Everybody. And that is part of this shadow work here absolutely part of this shadow work and recognizing that and seeing it for what it is, seeing through it and then balancing it out. Okay, this is also Aquarian energy. Um, you have two, you have, there's a lot of fire here also, but you have two senses of um, Leo energy with the sun and strength. Okay, but okay, yeah. So let's get going. Ten of wands and shadow work here. Let's get some clarity, please, spirit. What is the shadow work? Ten of wands. And shadow work. Ooh, I think I just saw the world pop out. Ten of wands and shadow work. That's it right there. Okay, sure. Oof. Underneath the deck is the three of swords with, yes, it is in fact the world. So, yeah. Wrapping up a cycle of heartbreak here, guys. For some of you, though, what this Five of Cups in reverse, Strength and the Sun is saying, it's like you're literally just not facing it. You haven't been facing whatever this heartbreak is. And now it's time for you to really wrap things up because it could be standing in your way of something brand new. And that's what this Page of Wands... The, the name of the game for this reading is... Self-discovery. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna t t title this self-discovery to start a new chapter. But I mean, like, to really get this new chapter going. So again, relating this back to what I was saying in the beginning of the reading, um, what like about my personal situation, like my personal story, and wrapping up this whole thing. It's really about really closing out the cycle, getting down to the nitty gritty of it, and cleaning out every last bit of whatever it is you know that you've been that's been holding you back that you've been carrying that's deep down in the recesses of your shadow that has led to some sort of heartbreak disappointment backstabbing um whatever in order to really move forward 
really close things out. And there could absolutely could be some things that you have not been looking at. Yes. Okay. I'm just, I'm getting an image. Oh gosh, I don't even know how to explain this. Um, it's like, this might be a little gross, <laughs> but it's almost like you're cleaning out a pore. Like you, if you look, look, look deep down and you're like you're cleaning out your pores or you're getting like some sort of root canal, right? And you know, you cl you get out the bulk of the, of the gook of the 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 the, the, the junk, right? But there's still some little bits left down in there. And so you, I don't know, take some sort of excavation tool, whatever that would be, find a fine thing that can really get down into the deep crevices of it and just cleaning out the last bits of it. That's literally the image that I'm getting right now from this. Because it seems like it's those last bits that are still influencing you, even though they're minor and minuscule in nature, like you would think logically, oh, that's so small, it really couldn't possibly have any effect on it. But technically it would still have an effect because it's still holding the energy or the resonating at the vibration of whatever it is you're trying to clean out anyway. So you really don't wanna have any of that left, okay? All right, so let's look into this situation here because this is like the meat of it for a lot of people. Five of Cups, Strength, the Sun, all in reverse. Please, some clarity, Spirit, for these three cards here. Five of Cups, Strength, and the Sun in reverse. Ten of Pentacles, okay. Page of Pentacles, excellent. Underneath the deck is, ooh, <laughs> The King of Swords again. Oh, shit. And then we also have... Wow. <coughs> we have Strength again. But this... In reverse, but also we have the Queen of Wands. All right. So... We have an energy that's a bit overzealous here. We have Aries energy. We have more Leo energy with the strength, but also Aries could be um, in, is the archetype of, or I'm sorry, the Queen of Wands represents Aries. We also have Aquarius again. Uh, Aquarius represents the King of Swords or another Le uh, another um, air sign, Libra, Sag uh, <laughs> Libra or um, Gemini. We also have Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo within the Queen of Wands as well. Now this could be a situation in which you were overzealous about something, somebody around you was overzealous about something. Um, this also, I'm also seeing an energy in with this, the Queen of Wands and the Queen of, uh, I'm sorry, the Queen of Wands and Strength in Reverse, someone pushing forward um, I guess passionately, fire in a fiery way, hoping to just burn away everything around them and, and to just forget it and like reset and start over. But that's not really ever going to work. You're really just going to burn yourself out and then you'll be left with no other energy but to face yourself. Wow, that's really deep. <laughs> Holy moly. But you see, ultimately, you're coming to the end of it. Ten of Pentacles, um, tens being a completion. Ten of Pentacles for me is um, a lesson learned, especially since the Ten of Pentacles does represent time, even though time is an illusion. In our physical realm, our physical world, we do recognize time. And so Ten of Pentacles does represent being in something for the long haul, um, the long-term you know, long investment, that sort of thing. So time here. But coming to an end, the completion, seeing things clearly, clearing out the situation, closing it out, le having learned the lesson, and then starting 
new with the Page of Pentacles from there. Okay, it's almost like I am kind of getting with the Ten of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles here. I am getting an energy of the fool, especially since we have the world up here. Where the world is the last of the major arcana. From there, the cycle restarts. You jump, you circle back around to the fool and you take a new brand new leap of faith, taking with you everything that you've learned in the past. And that's what I'm getting here with this Ten of Pentacles and Page of Pentacles. Yes, it's starting on a new level, a new chapter, but taking everything that you've learned with you. Now, with this King of Swords energy here, this could be another person that you're dealing with, but what I'm getting here for this reading is that someone is, um, it's like you're, you're releasing the pride and the ego and the... the energies of not wanting to really face it and just keep it moving. And you're look, working on seeing something as clearly as possible. Or at least you need to be, right? With the King of Swords in order to bring this to completion and start on a new chapter. I'm just, I'm, um, I'm working, I'm feeling like there's something else here. It has to do with this King of Swords. There could be an energy, uh, a specific situation in which some of you may have had an altercation and maybe just got a little too fired up. And I'm maybe defending yourself in a way that wasn't quite necessary. I've been there. It actually happened last night. <laughs> yeah, sure did. You know, it's funny how, um, you know, me being a reader, I'm channeling for the collective, but I often resonate with these readings. It's, sometimes it's kind of scary, especially since I'm not trying to pull my own energy into it, but then it happens and then you guys resonate with it. So it's just like crazy how we all are going through very similar situations, but hey, it yield what it yield. <laughs> all right, so let's get an Oracle card. I wanna go with the Sacred Rebels today for this weekend's reading. I really love this deck, you guys. Really, really love it. It can be kind of long-winded, but I feel like, um, it's, it feels in alignment. So we're gonna go with it today. <laughs> and it's fun. You know what, you know how scary this is, you guys? I did get into a situation last night where, um, you know, I, kind of got a little overzealous and my Aries side really kind of came out. <laughs> um, and it was with another individual who turned out to be a King of Swords. He was a, he's a Libra. <laughs> that was interesting. So it's just scary. I, I just wanted to say that it's scary how these things really just kind of work out like that, you know? Okay, just a few more shuffles here for our guidance. All right, let's see what we've got for this weekend's reading. Best message to close out this reading, please, Spirit. Best message, please, to close out our reading here for the weekend, June 14th through the 16th. June 14th through the 16th. Okay. Oh boy, we got three cards. All right, uh, give me a second. Okay. Yes. Wow. Wowie, wow, wow. These are actually three really great cards, and I really think I'm, I'm going to do my best to read them. <clears throat> like I said, these cards, the, de the definitions in these cards can be pretty long. Um, 
so we have card number 32, Faith in the Process. We have card 25, Release the Dark Wound, Let Love Live. Yeah, I mean, that is, wow. And then we also have card number 31, 